Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. In the last session we had just escaped from the school and from the teacher that was hunting us down. We had some nasty run-ins with some bullies. Uh, hopefully that will be the last we see of them. <laughs> and uh, yes, I think that's this section over with now. We didn't kill the teacher uh, like we did the hunter. But, you know, <laughs> the hunter was more of the exception than the rule. We hardly killed... What, what, in Little Nightmares 1, who did we kill? The janitor, we tore his arms off. So that's pretty much killed. The chefs, we just ran away from... Uh, what was the third area? The guests, were we just ran away from. And then the geisha, geisha? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. We, we killed at the end. So it was like 50% of the 50% of the enemies we killed in the first one. And so far 50% in this one. This is a really cool visual. Look at that. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. That is that right right there could be a thumbnail. <laughs> oh man. I'm so all about the vibe and the mood and the visual style and everything of this game. It's so good. <laughs> More of these clothes just being there like the person inside them has just vanished out of nowhere. Uh, can we get in this? Okay. Ah, we are we... Oh, wait, no, I see. We're moving this over here. Still not sure that, that jump's going to be big enough. Hmm. And then pushing... Wait, actually, we can probably just make this, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. I thought we'd be climbing up here and then... Because I can't make that jump. I thought we'd be climbing up that ramp into the background and then, like, I don't know, sprint jumping or something? Hmm. Can we push this? No. Okay, you can't stand on the edge. He automatically gets in. We've pushed this as far as it can go. We have to get up there. Oh, we closed the lid. We closed the lid. I get it. I get it. We move it back this way so it's under here. And then we push it into the background to close the lid. That is cool. That is clever. Oh, I like it. I like it. That is a really clever puzzle. Like, simple, but smart, <laughs> you know? Huh. Yeet. Yeet! Something else I was thinking when I was uh, editing the last part, is I was mentioning at one point uh, how I, w I thought they'd have introduced Six by now, and that Six, like, she's on the cover art, and so you know you're going to be meeting her at some point. And where is Six? And then I suddenly thought, what if this is Six? Like, we don't recognize her because we never saw her face in the original game, and she's not wearing her yellow raincoat. But it could be that this is Six. And if it is Six, then does this make this a prequel? instead of a sequel, because the six that we saw at the end of Virtual Nightmares 1 has crazy fucking powers and would not let herself be chained up like we found this thing. I, I, I think I've been referring to the, this dude as a, as a he, but obviously six is a girl, so if it is six, then it's a she, but you can't really tell by looking, can you, because you never get a good look at the face or anything, but um, yeah, it's just a thought. I mean, it might not be, but I was just like, Hang on. <laughs> what if? What if? But yeah, that would, that would, I think, make this a prequel. 
Because we've got no... We've had no indication that it's set after the events of the first game. And, yeah, if this is six, then you'd think she would be using her crazy fucking magic powers to save us all. <laughs> well, maybe not save us all. Hello. What does it mean? Well, that's creepy. <laughs> Can we go through these bars? Can we slide through them? No. Oh, shit. Is this the yellow raincoat? Have I, like, literally just brought that up at the perfect time? Oh, my fucking god! <laughs> oh, my god! I've actually just brought that up at the perfect time! That is awesome. That is so cool. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. So this is a prequel then. Confirmed prequel, because she didn't have a raincoat. Ah, that's so cool. Oh, what a great moment. I'm so glad that I just went into my thought process on that, like right before that happened. That is so lucky. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that is great. Right, Um, can we, or oh, can you just give me a leg up? Is that what we're doing? You just give me a leg up here? Yeah. Oh, that was brilliant. What a cool ass moment. Just a simple thing. Girl putting on a raincoat, but it means everything. <laughs> just that one, <laughs> one act, putting on a raincoat, gives us a whole place in time. We, know, we now know when this takes place. Can we, like, smash this somehow? Oh, it's not a... I thought it was glass. <laughs> I thought it was glass. We needed to smash it. Nope. Just walk on through. You come in six? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Love me some six. Can we, like, move this? No. Uh, can you give me a leg up here? Yes. Okay. The one downside of that is I really did want to see Six use her fucking powers. <laughs> and she obviously isn't going to have them. So. So will this game end then with us learning how Six got trapped in the moor in the first place? What do we reckon? Because obviously we have no context as to why she's there. In, uh, in Little Nightmares 1. We just wake up and begin our journey in the moor. So maybe this will show the events that lead to her getting captured. I'm so I'm so over the moon about that. I don't know why I don't know why that's made me so happy. That's just ah. Uh, I guess just the fact that I I sort of got it right before the reveal came. Okay, that was like a full-on loading screen, which is very rare. So is this like a new chapter? So we must have escaped the teacher for good then. Because the full-on, the full you know, cut to black loading screen, new area, that, yeah. That means we're in... Is that a person? person in a wheelchair? Hard to get a good look. I hope they just keep making these games, man. Like, I wanna, I wanna flesh out this little nightmares universe as much as possible. It's great. I would def. Oh my god! Thank you, six. <laughs> She's doing a great job. The amount of times that I've fucking like been about jumping towards the edge of a ledge or falling off a ledge or whatever, and she's caught me. She is uh <laughs> definitely. Mono's best friend here. Uh, why is he struggling to climb that? Oh, I was like... Oh, I was just... No, wait. Can you just... Oh, do I just... Oh, okay. I was like, I was trying to get up on top of that to jump across, but... 
this is a weird place. What, why are there beds just hanging here? Yeet! Oh. That was, that was a bigger yeet than I was expecting. Didn't expect myself to yeet myself all the way down to uh, the basement. Oh, that's that's interesting. It doesn't it doesn't do the little grab thing again when you uh, when you restart. That's a one time deal. Oh, for fuck's sake! I didn't sprint. <laughs> oh, god damn it! God damn it, me! There we go. So yeah, these two are going to get split up at some point. Because obviously Mono is not in Little Nightmares 1. Maybe Mono dies then. Cause, uh, what? Oh, okay, okay. What is going on here? I'm holding the grab button. Oh, for f <laughs> Kill me. Land on the bed, thank you. Grab that, yes. Grab that. Grab that. Okay. Why is this jump so impossible for me to make? Get a longer run up. There we go. There we go. Gonna have to put this somewhere else, maybe. It's very, very quiet. Yep, right here. Nice. I don't suppose we can enter this room, can we? Yeah, I don't know if I finished my train of thought, because I was originally speculating that because we know that we're going to meet Six at some point, that our friend was going to have to die to, to and Six would replace them. But because our friend is Six, obviously our friend is not going to die. And we know that Six isn't with Mono in the original. And this is Little Nightmares, so you know, dark shit can happen. <laughs> so maybe we die. Maybe that's the thing. Anyone, uh, if anyone's down, or well, not even down there, just vaguely around, they're going to know that they've got friends. They've got company here now. This is a bit dark. Oh, oh, okay. That creeped me out. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Okay. Just control it with the with the right stick. Very nice, very nice. Wait, can I not? Hello? Can I get through this gap? Oh there we go. It was I was it was really struggling to get through the gap for some reason. Uh, are we going down that way, or are we going to the right? Hang 
on, what's down this way? Seems like you can go into the background here. Oh, hey. It's a shadow boy. Nice. You just know that they're going to make this torch, like, die right as something's coming at us or something, don't you? Like, <laughs> we're going to be dropped into pitch black as something is on the hunt. And I'm already hating it. <laughs> just knowing that that will inevitably happen. The thought of that makes me want to commit die. Oh, hang on, that door's open, so that's probably the way we're going. So what about what's over here? Just uh, boarded up. Okie doke. Oh, six, if only you had your powers. Six, if only you had your powers. Six, if only you had your powers. This would be so much better. We could get through unscathed. We could get through unscathed. Oh, if only you had your powers. Clap. There's got to be something if you keep doing this, right? It's just run out. <laughs> oh! We needed to hit the button. Right. Ya yeet! Uh. Oh no! One of these things again. I forgot about this. What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? You have to tune it to be like a straight line, I think. There we go. Tune it three times, third time's the charm. This is so weird. <laughs> what what is going on? Why are we getting sucked into this TV in this corridor? What does it mean? Headless dudes here. That's fine. Stuff to do up there, stuff to do down here. Is that a lift? Now you do it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That is cute. This is uh, less cute, more creepy. <laughs> Hmm. Kids room? Oh, hello, what's this? What have you got? Why are you bringing this with us? <laughs> Do we need this for something? 
put this behind here? Can we break that then? Not sure. Like, obviously, there's something inside it. We need to get into it. Huh. How would we go about doing that? I can't take it off her. She doesn't... Doesn't want me to do that. Oh, she's going to drop it. I can't actually pick it up. Oh, no, I can. Hmm, but I can't, it doesn't, I thought it was hard, but it's not hard. You can't break it by, hmm. Where's this take us then? Is there anything in here that could... Help us. We could burn away. Maybe. He doesn't want to throw it in. There we go. Where did it go? Wait, did the thing inside get burned up too? It's not this, is it? Just a hand. Fuck. Did I fuck that up? I thought maybe the thing inside was metal and wouldn't get burned up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Have I fucked it? Because that seemed like something we'd need, right? But it just isn't in here. It is possible I fucked it. Let's try upstairs. I imagine it's not possible to block yourself out of progress by doing that. So, okay, we need a key. So I assume that that was more of a side thing maybe or something? We need two of the light bulbs for that. There's another lift there. Anything around here? We need one bulb for that, so we need to get one bulb, go in there, and then the second bulb will probably be in there. And then we take them both over here. Does that does that activate the lift, or what does that actually do? I guess that activates the lift. So we need one bulb before we even come up here. But we have not seen one anywhere. Hmm... Where are we missing that, then? Nothing in here. Oh, hello. Yep, you've got more stuff. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, I get it. I get it. It's inside one of these things. But we don't know which one... So I didn't fuck it because whatever was inside that wasn't important.
That's a key. That's a key. That is definitely a key. I can't tell what this is. The thing she's holding is a key. I think that's a bulb, is it? Not sure, but she's definitely got a key. Let's take both of them. Because it could be a bulb. Or maybe the bulb's in the room where the key unlocks. I really can't tell what's inside this. <laughs> Yeet it. Atta girl. Wait. Where's the key gone? Does, um, does this not work how I think it works? I guess this doesn't work how I think it works, because there was definitely a key in there. And I was like, okay, well, key's definitely going to be metal. That's not going to melt in a five-second oven. And it's in a wooden monkey thing. So we'll just burn the monkey and take the key. And yet... The key isn't here. So now I'm just confused. I feel like this is something, but you can't, the camera doesn't move to accommodate it, so I guess not. Uh, what? I guess we'll just keep burning stuff and maybe something won't burn. I can't see anything else to do right though, because you can't do anything on the top floor. One door needs a key, one door needs two bulbs, one door needs one bulb. So you can't do anything there. There's nothing in the downstairs of the room to our left. There's nothing in this room. So the way to progress has to be by doing something in here. You can see what's inside objects with this. So obviously you need to get inside an object. Wow, I didn't expect to actually be able to pick this up. Is it going to be you? Big fucking bear. Hmm. That doesn't look like it's got anything inside it, really. It's like something that's lit up, but... I really hope I'm doing the right thing here. I, I, I think I am, but like the fact that... Because that de the thing she had definitely had a key, right? Neither of those look like anything much. It definitely looked like the thing she threw in there had a key, and yet. And yet. Oh, there's a bear on the wall that has a key inside it. Neither of those two look right, though. What about this one? This is like the last thing. Is it just... Have, I, have we just got supremely unlucky? And it's just the last thing we happen, happen to try? But the, she definitely did have a key in there. Or I'm blind, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Okay, well, that's something. That's probably a key. Yeah, that is a key. So I guess that's just the last thing we tried. But then what about the key that... No, oh, whatever. Whatever. This must be it. If this key disappears too, then I'm going to retire as a human being. Because clearly my brain is not working. You have fun in there. Oh, 
Oh, thank the sweet lord. Thank the sweet lord above. What a bro. Okay, now we can get into the door in the top right, which will give us one bulb, which will let us into the top left, which will give us a second bulb, which will let us into the lift. GG easy. Oh boy. Operation? Operation room? Creepy. Still got our torch? Yeah, we still got our torch. Anything back here? Another shadow boy or something, perhaps? Oh my goodness, this is creepy. Oh yeah, shadow boy, hey! This door has its window broken. Do you want to give me a leg up? Out a girl six. Okay, someone has been doing some fucking not good. Uh, what now? What now? No? Um, <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> okay, the fucking... The fucking limbs are alive? What? Ah! What? What, what did you, what did you wish me to do that game? <laughs> I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Did it run away from me the first time because I had my torch on it? But it doesn't seem to be giving a shit about the torch this time. Okay, it's not the torch. What made it run away from me the first time? Or was that just... Like, not... I need to throw something? Well, I can't bring anything up here to throw. So I just need to run? Okay, I thought I could get under there, but apparently not. Maybe I climb over it? I guess I just run. Climb the thing! Okay, you won't, you won't climb the thing. Okay, what am I missing then? I'm missing something. He can't go under or over the thing that has space to go under or over it. <laughs> Can I, like, pull this hand that's hanging out here? Can I make the hands fight? Can I really not grab this? Oh, no, he can grab this. He was just refusing to last time. Okay, I see. I see. That is fucking terrifying. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, it can follow me? Oh wait, is this the way to go? Hang on. <laughs> Wanna go the way to not go first? Oh, it's literally just a... Okay. <laughs> it 
It's in the vent. It's in the vent. No. Shit house. Oh, there's, there's the light. Huh, yeet. Okay, yeeting did not work there. Run, run, run. Oh no, we've got to get this to... Somewhere. Oh, there's a hammer. We need to kill the thing. Okay, it didn't die, but it ran away. Oh, fuck. Motherfucker, come on now. There we go. Holy shit. Oh, that's... Uh, that's not... Not nice. That is not nice. Hi. You, you having fun there? Yeah. <laughs> That's so creepy. Oh, wait, there's a... Wait. This wasn't here before, was it? Am I going insane? There wasn't a second one there before. Was there? Did I walk straight over that? Surely not. Well, what's the point of this room then? Oh, is that one? Is that one burned out? Maybe. Well, you need another one for here. Oh God. We're going in there. It looks like okay. There's... So we do need a second one, but then hmm. I swear that this did not. Wait. Was was it right here? What? What? Am I going insane? Was there not one right here? Am I being fucked with, or is this bugging out? Oh. Wasn't there a second one, like, right around here that I just walked over? And I commented on it, put that one in, came back, and now it's not here? Uh, am I losing my mind? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I fucking swear there was one right there. I'm gonna have to watch that back, because I am so confused. Do you just yeet me up here then? Okay. Uh, was there really not one there? Uh. Oh, great. Oh, no. What? Okay, well, this is my idea from earlier. Oh, that is creepy as shit. Oh, I can't handle this. I can't handle this. Oh, no. 